10 Tips Dresden. The city on the River Elbe looks back on a history of more than 800 years and was not only the ducal residence but also the political and cultural center of Saxony. Today, Dresden is one of the most innovative locations in Germany and attracts about 7 million tourists from all over the world every year with its world-famous Baroque and Renaissance buildings and its countless museums and exhibitions. Worth seeing. In addition to the Zwinger, the Residence Palace and the Semper Opera House, the many other buildings in the Baroque style are also worth seeing. Once built for the Saxon monarchs, many of the historic ones were almost completely destroyed in the last days of World War II. With the reconstruction of the Dresden Church of Our Lady, the city's landmark can be seen in all its glory. Other cultural and historical highlights include the Semper Opera House, rebuilt according to original plans, the Dresden Zwinger, and the Old and New Towns. Bruges Terraces. A great introduction to Dresden's history is a walk along the Bruges Terrace along the Elbe River. Once built as part of the fortifications in the 16th century, it now stretches almost a kilometer between Augustus Bridge and Carola Bridge. Also known as the Balcony of Europe, the section includes the palace, gallery, library, as well as the Belvedere and gardens, the so-called Bruel's Glories. From here, about 10 meters above the Elbe, you have a great view of the paddle steamer's landing stages and the city skyline. Albertinum, Secunda Genitor and the Academy of Arts as well as countless sculptures and monuments also have their place here. Palaces and Gardens Dresden now boasts over 570 parks and gardens. In addition to the historic parks such as Pilnitz Palace and the Japanese Palace, the Latevitzer Volkspark and the Rose Garden on the banks of the Elbe in Neustadt are also among the beautiful parks in Dresden. Many of the parks also offer a view of Dresden's old town during a picnic, and beer gardens and festival meadows also invite visitors to linger. When the weather is nice, you can relax from the meadows along the banks of the Elbe and admire the paddle steamers on the Elbe or enjoy the tranquility of nature. The Elbe itself flows for about 23 kilometers through the city and is also lined by the Elbe cycle path. The historic setting is also often used for various open-air events such as the film nights on the banks of the Elbe or for concerts in the romantic parks. The Dresden Castle Night in particular offers countless events in the castles and their gardens. In the center of the city are the Dresden Zoo and the Gondeltique, Gondola Pond, two other popular parks of the people of Dresden. The Old Town the Old Town is the historic center of Dresden and is located directly on the left bank of the Elbe River in a graceful curve of the Elbe River. The Elbe font of the Old Town, as already immortalized by Canaletto in his famous painting, can still be seen from the Neustadter Elbe Riverbank. With the magnificent dome of the Church of Our Lady, the tower of the court church and the facade of the Zwinger, the silhouette of the city is perfectly designed. Famous buildings of the Old Town are also the Old Master's Picture Gallery and the Green Vault. Around the Altmarkt and Praga Strasse are also countless stores, bars and restaurants and invite you to stroll and relax. The Neustadt. Neustadt, New Town, is the name given to the districts of the city located on the right bank of the Elbe River. The Neustadt was also granted city rights as early as 1403, it received its name after a devastating fire and the associated reconstruction. The sites on the right bank of the Elbe include the charming ensemble of streets along the Königstrasse as well as the Neustadt market with the Golden Rider. The equestrian monument is dedicated to the Saxon elector and Friedrich August I and here also begins the main street through the historic district. Dominating buildings of the new town are still the two monumental buildings of today's state chancellery and the Saxon Ministry of Finance from the years 1890-96. Historical architecture also determines the ambience of Königsbrücke Strasse and Lutherplatz, where practically the nightlife district of the city is located. Boat Trip on the Elbe Sailing along the Elbe on a paddle steamer will delight not only lovers of old ships. On board the historic paddle steamer, the views of castles, churches and parks are just as inspiring as the cultural offerings. Whether it's a castle tour or Dixieland, a boat trip on the Elbe will delight young and old. Landing stages are located both in the city center and along the Elbe. And, of course, you can also simply disembark when Pilnitz Palace with its silhouette already inspires from the water. Romantic castles and no less than five Elbe bridges can be marveled at during an excursion on the Elbe, as can the rock formations of Saxon Switzerland, Moritzburg Castle or Bad Schandau. Museums and Exhibitions 
Dresden offers countless interesting galleries and exhibition venues, especially for culture enthusiasts and museum fans. Over 50 museums, 36 theaters and 60 art galleries are available to the interested visitor here. Whether pictures and paintings of old masters, the jewelry exhibition in the Green Vault or the vintage cars in the Museum of Transport, the range of exhibitions worth seeing is wide. Not only are such important paintings as The Chocolate Girl, or The Interest Penny, by Titian known worldwide, but sculptures such as Raphael's, Sistine Madonna, and works by modern artists can also be found in the spacious exhibitions. Opera and Music Dresden is also known across national borders for its opera and ballet performances. Dresden's musical culture ranges from the Semper Opera and the Saxon State Orchestra to the Dresden Philharmonic, the Cross Choir and the Dresden Chapel Boys. The Semper Opera House, for example, is one of the most important opera houses in Europe, and performances by top international artists are highly sought after. The city expects countless visitors from near and far for the annual Dresden Music Festival. Concerts in the city's great churches, such as the Church of Our Lady, the Cathedral and the Church of the Holy Cross, are also among the special musical delights. Predominantly contemporary compositions and performances, on the other hand, have their stage in Dresden Hellerau. Culinary. The Saxons invented coffee and there is also much else to discover here in terms of cuisine. Of course, pastries and sweets are just as much a part of it as typical Saxon home cooking. Eggs in mustard sauce, potato pancakes or green dumplings are served in hearty portions. The Neustadt Market Hall is also a great place to explore the city's culinary scene. The light-flooded market hall with its wrought iron railings and ornate iron staircases is also a visual highlight. Inside, visitors can expect fresh produce and specialties from the region, from sausages to wine and cheese. With the Dresden Christstollen and the Striesel Market, Dresden has made a name for itself among gourmets, especially during the Christmas season. Trips to the surrounding area. With Meissen and the Moritzburg Castle as well as its wine slopes and small Straussenwirtschaften, typical seasonal wine taverns, in Radebell, Dresden's surroundings are always worth a trip. Not only Augustus the Strong celebrated lavish parties at Moritzburg Castle, the Baroque Palace was also the setting for the Christmas classic Three Hazelnuts for Cinderella. Around Radebell, on the other hand, is Germany's smallest and most easterly wine-growing region, with about 447 hectares of vineyards. Excursions to this region are not only worthwhile during the grape harvest, the beautiful landscape along the Elbe and, of course, the tasting of the wines grown here make an excursion an experience all year round. Not far from Dresden is also one of the most beautiful climbing regions in Germany. The Elbe Sandstone Mountains with its sandstone formations is the oldest climbing area and also has some special features. Here is practically the cradle of free climbing in Germany with over 1100 free-standing climbing opportunities and demanding climbing rules. Unique with its Baroque buildings, exhibitions worth seeing and the location directly on the Elbe, Dresden is always worth a trip. Whether strolling through the city, touring castles or visiting museums, the city offers countless interesting cultural highlights in every respect.